Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? Very good. So, um, I talked to you back with uh, the release of The Horrors of Dolores Roach. Oh, right. Um, and I find it so fascinating how Blumhouse has kind of navigated doing newer releases of original horror with kind of reviving these horror stories that we loved. Because, like, with The Exorcist Believer, that, The Exorcist is a movie is one of the only horror movies that actually terrified me when I was a kid. Nice. And so, for you, how do you kind of navigate, like, what older horrors genre like horror movies to bring back and like what you kind of want to revisit versus what stories you as a producer want to kind of bring in an original like originals yeah we do about half and half so half of our movies are either sequels or like based on existing ip and half of our movies are originals and we try and keep that ratio mm -hmm. you don't get new existing great ip without it starting somewhere yeah so I think it's important and I really like doing both it's fun to be able to do both so that's how we divide it up yeah and is it though fun for you to kind of like I asked Bryce this with Night Swim I was like no pools were already kind of scary but now you're going to terrify a whole new generation like that movie is what's going to be what's terrifying of the oh, pool good. not like pools themselves and so your movies are the source of like reviving that fear that like the older movies used to have so is that fun for you to kind of like have Blumhouse be the name that so many associate uh, yeah. with that? <laughs> I love it. It's great. It's great. And I love, uh, J you know, James Wan is, uh, soon Soon he'll be my official partner. And, uh, and he's so good at, like, thinking of new, different things that could be scary that you wouldn't think of scary. You know, you wouldn't really think a swimming pool is scary until you see Night Swim, and then you're never going to look at a pool yes. the same way again. And, um, and that's really fun. It's really fun to have a company that does that. Oh, yeah, that trailer... Can't. Good. Well, it's, it's, so, it's such like an interesting thing because like the minute you see that house, it's just kind of, you know you're in for a ride because it's if you're a horror fan, you know what's coming, you know. Yeah. Blumhouse kind of has you, you know what's coming with horror. And so for you as a producer though, with looking at horror as a genre as a whole, does it always stem from making sure that like your characters are there first and foremost because that is such an important part of horror as a genre? Well, it stems from having characters that are doing believable things. A lot of horror movies that don't work, mm -hmm. you kind of don't buy the characters as real people. They do things that no one would do in a scary situation. House is haunted, you should leave. Yeah. And you've got to explain why they're not leaving, for instance, if yeah. they're not. Um, uh, so, yes, yes, yes. You've got to make the characters. You got to, They have to be well-drawn. They have to be really believable. Yeah, and then uh, for the last question, what's so cool about kind of like the lineup of movies you guys have had coming out is there's always actors that like kind of pull like what I love about The Extras is like you guys had a surprising amount of Broadway actors in that movie yeah, we did. because it was Leslie, it was Norbert Leo Butts, yeah. and then with uh, Five Nights at Freddy, it's Josh Hutcherson is back, and it's you guys just constantly have this lineup of actors that people love and are excited to see in movies. Is that something that you guys are searching for to like to bring back actors that we all love and want to see in things or is it just kind of like how it works out with the project that you guys are working no, on? No, we look for actors who are kind of um, not, too, you know, not, maybe not overexposed and, and who have, you know, we look, first of all, we look for the best, you know, the best yes. actors, but, but, but a lot of times they have cult followings, which I like. And, um, and a lot of times we try and find actors that people wouldn't expect to be in a horror movie, so we do that too. Awesome. Thank you so much.